Here's how to use any MIDI controller and I literally mean any MIDI controller, even this to control your digital mixer. Now when you think of a control surface for your mixer, it's usually either the X-Touch or something like the Waves Fit controller that is in collaboration with the MIDI Plus. But these are really expensive and if you're just a musician that wants to control his in-ear monitor mix or whatever, just do small things or control a talkback microphone. Let's say I'm singing into this microphone but I want to talk to my band so I hit a button on this controller and this becomes the talk back simple things like this you can do with your midi controller using mixing station to control your mixer now keep in mind you will not do a full mix on this but you might have a certain specific use case that you need it for so i'm gonna run you through how you can set it up with mixing station and give you a few examples and then i'll let your imagination do the rest let's go to the gear icon on the top of the screen and then in app general i want to turn on midi support to be able to use my midi controller with mixing station then I'm going to go to the MIDI tab, add a new device and you can call that device and under protocol I'm going to click on this you have your standard Mackie control and HUI that already have things assigned to them and also you have your X-Touch and your Waves Fit if you have these controllers but if you're using just any MIDI controller I'm going to select general MIDI and you might want to close and open mixing station again if it doesn't show your MIDI controller if it does click on input right here it shows that is my MIDI controller same for output apply now I have a device click on the device name and and here I can add a bunch of controls. So I'm going to go to the top left of the screen and add controller. I can either add a fader or a rotary control or a button. Let's start with the fader. This is really important. If you are not using motorized faders, choose non-motorized. Otherwise, if you move the slider, it will just jump to the next value immediately and you don't want that to happen in a live sound environment. How do I let mixing station know which slider I'm using? I'm going to hit learn and then move the slider. And you can see right here, it's changing value as I'm moving. Now Mixing Station knows what physical controller I'm working with and I can get out of this. And you can call it a specific name if that helps you. So if I click on the three dots again, I can edit and I can either change the controller by hitting learn again and move a different knob or different slider or whatever. I'm going to keep that and I can name it right here. Let's call it me because that's going to be the volume of my instrument in my monitor mix. And right here on the right, I can add actions to that controller so i'm gonna click add action and it's gonna be not current channel i want it to be a fixed channel and let's say channel 7 is my guitar and i want to choose right here main send and bus number 4 is my monitor mix so if i go to bus number 4 and move this you can see on the screen it's moving by me moving my finger like so that's always my instrument and my monitor and by the way the fader controller doesn't have to be a physical fader it can also be a knob i'm going to create another controller that is a fader however this time i will learn and i will move this encoder you can see it's moving on the screen and turn off learn and make sure that is not motorized so now if i go back and add an action to this controller i want it to be current channel so that's gonna be the main fader of whatever channel is selected go into channel move that fader if i go to the next channel it becomes the fader of that channel go to the other it becomes that now with the rotary encoder right now if i show you i'm turning like so but it's not changing it's because i need to go all the way down to match the level so whenever the value of this encoder matches the fader then it will move however if it's motorized remember this is the value of the encoder right now go to the next channel and I move it, it jumps, okay? Go to the other channel, move it, it jumps. I don't want that big jump. That's why if you're not using a motorized fader, make sure that you select non-motorized. And by the way, if you have done a bunch of these and you don't know which controller controls what, you can hit find controller and move your physical controller and it selects it. If I move this, it selects it. I know exactly what is controlling what. So let me add a button and I'm gonna hit learn and tap my button here. And you can see it's changing the value. Turn off learn. Now I have a button. Let me select it. And with a button, you have a lot of options to choose from. You have touch. And touch is just as soon as you touch the button, the action happens. 
click is you have to touch it and release it for the action to happen. Long click is that you have to touch and keep holding for a while and then release, then the action will happen. Momentary is you hold the button. That's something like talk back. I'm holding it, I'm talking. I'm done with talk back, release, stop talk back. So I'm gonna choose click, not current channel this time, but I'm gonna do current layer and offset zero. And then I'm gonna go to the main and do mute. Now, if I touch this button, it's muting the channel that is the first channel on that layer. Why? Because we are on current layer offset zero. So if I go to another layer and press that button, it mutes the first channel on the other layer. Next layer, mute. So that's always the first channel on any layer. So I'll make a bunch of these, but let me first call this mute and I'll click on it and duplicate. That's gonna be mute two, learn, hit the next button, turn off, learn, go back and go in here and set offset one. So that is the second channel on the current layer again duplicate learn hit the third button go back change the offset to and do that until I have all the buttons on this controller I have eight buttons available now what I have is mute buttons for all the channels on any layer if I go to another layer I can mute like so and unmute if I want to get into the sense on faders for certain buses I can do add controller button and I will hit learn and then I'll hit one key right here turn off learn let me call this bus one I'll do click add action and in here the action type is going to be app and then sends on faders and I'll choose bus number one so now if I press that key it goes into the sends on faders for bus number one. So we can do a bunch of these. Let me duplicate, learn second key, and that's gonna be bus number two. Duplicate, learn third key, that's gonna be bus number three, and so on and so forth. So now by pressing on the keys, I'm getting into the bus sends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And if I press on the key again, I get out of it. Something you should know is that you can swap actions so you can use the same button for something else. You remember we did all the mutes right here. But what if I want this to be a select button for the channel, not a mute? I can add action right here and go to app and select channel fixed channel no i want current layer and offset zero go back do with a second mute button app select channel current layer offset one and so on and so forth now i don't want these two actions to happen at the same time i want just only one of them to happen create a button to switch all these controllers to one action and another button to switch all these controllers to the second action so let's add controller button and let's learn that will be mute swap select one and i'm gonna duplicate that do the other button and call it mute swap select two that's good okay so let's go to the first one and and add a click action and the action type is going to be MIDI batch action swap and I'll type in here mute if I go back everything that is called mute right here before the number before the dash all these controllers are being affected okay so I'm gonna go back to that swap action you have all the mutes being affected and I want to turn on action zero which is the first action that is assigned to the mute controller and that is the mute function the second action is the channel select so I'm gonna try this out okay click again nothing is happening because this turned off and I don't know another way to turn it on except to make another button to turn it on one turns the other on while it gets off it's a bit confusing but follow with me so let me turn back on that action by making it active and let me also add another action to the same button also midi batch action swap and type in here mute swap select two and i'm going to activate action zero also go back and go to the second swap and do the same so add action i want to turn on the first swap so it's gonna be midi batch action swap mute swap select one and i'm gonna turn on action one which is the second action in that first swap then i'm gonna add another action to that and it's gonna be batch action swap and it's gonna affect the mute controllers and it's gonna affect action number one which is the second action now go back and if this works correctly i should be able to press one button and press the other and these will switch and here we go they are going back and forth while i press the two different buttons if i check the mute actions they are switching correctly so now if i go back to check my mute buttons are working right now however if i click on one of these swap actions my mute is not working anymore this is a select now so if i select first channel 
I'm moving the fader, select the second channel, select third channel. If I click on the other swap action, these will become mutes again and they will not select anything. I'm pressing on them and this fader is not changing. Swap action again, this becomes a select. Okay, so that can be useful and getting into the buses. This doesn't work in the buses because I didn't set it to work in the bus. I can go back in here and say that this slider also works in the buses. So follow sends on faders. And now if I'm in a bus, I can turn up and down whatever channel I select in that bus. My one little slider and select buttons and keys, I can get in and out of buses and swap them to become mute. You can do a lot with that. I'm gonna leave the possibilities to your imagination because I don't want this video to get too long. But if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on the screen right now and I'll see you there.